Welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, went fishing, didn't catch much. So, we're gonna cook up the bait. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Fresh finger mullet. All I've done with these guys is scaled them, took the guts out, and uh, I packed the inside with sea salt and packed them on the outside with sea salt. And we're going to let this brine for a little while. While those are brining, I've jacked the uh, pan up at an angle. So any excess moisture coming out, I'm going to run down here to this end. All right, folks, well, these guys have been brining for three hours in the fridge out there. And they're, you know, they've, they've weeped off some moisture. So since we got other projects going on, like these beautiful smoke chicken wings right here for dinner, and we got timing and smoker, I guess we're just going to go ahead and rinse these. We're going to season them and uh, put them on smoker. All right, here's what they look like after they're all rinsed off they're nice and firm um, three hours on the brine there here we're gonna just uh, pour a pretty generous amount of olive oil right over top of them and we're gonna roll them around in that really well we want them to get uh, really coated kind of what we're going for here is like a you know uh, smoked sardine smoked herring kind of deal. These are small fish. They're oily just like those guys. So, next we have our seasoning blend right here and this only has one pinch of salt in it. You know we brine these guys three hours. They're going to have plenty of salt. So don't use uh, off the shelf um, any kind of seasoning. So we made this with uh, chili powder, a little cayenne, some onion garlic powder, black pepper, and a little bit of thyme, grind that in a spice grinder, and only one pinch of sea salt. We don't want to get too salty, though. Let's go ahead and uh, season them up. We're just going to sprinkle this pretty liberally over them. Turn them and make sure all their sides are coated. This, uh, by the way, is this is an experimental recipe. If it turns out any good, you guys will see it. If it didn't, you won't. Alright, so those guys are all coated with their seasoning. I'm going to go uh, put them on a smoker. Alright, well, since we already have old uh, Smokey Joe, I don't know, our Weber Smoky Mountain going here, not Smokey Joe. I've already, uh, it's going, we already did our wings, so now we're going to smoke our bait. Um, that's what this really is, is bait. So we're just going to go ahead, we sprayed that real well with olive oil, clean the grates up real good. We're at about 250 with our heat right now. So we're going to go ahead and lay those guys in there. Probably going to have to offset a few of them to get them all on there. I want them to be up above the water pan. Let's, let's move that guy back a little. Make that, that bigger one. And then we're going to put a little bit of water in. Doesn't need much, just enough for a little steam. Maybe a cup. Gonna have to put the lid on. We'll keep a good eye on them. All right, well, I'll let this smoker get way hotter than I wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and go in here and flip these guys over. I did put a little bit more water back in the uh, water pan to try to moderate the heat. So very carefully, I'm going to flip each one of our little fingerlings over to the other side. Just so that we don't overdo them. And I've cranked this uh, smoker back down, just 
starting to go out, I opened up the side door and put some more coals in there. Left it open a little bit just so it could get going, and I got sidetracked. I actually flipped that one earlier and forgot about it. Came out here, baby's on like 350. So, we'll have to improvise over coming and adapt. Okay, we're still battling a hot smoker. Um, we already know this gauge reads uh, about 25 to 50 degrees lower than the actual temperature. That's going to make our real temp inside there um, well over 300. So this time we're going to add a lot more water. And this is a way you can help to moderate, and that's cold water. You can help to moderate your internal temperature if it starts getting away. Everybody knows that the Smoky Mountain is um, a, a great tool, but once it gets too hot, it's hard to to get it back down. So right now we're going to go ahead and take it, and we're going to move the spin it around here a little bit. We're going to go ahead and move the top uh, vent to two thirds to try to get control over this heat. Okay, it's been a couple hours. And they're looking pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and take them off now. I don't want them to get too dry. Uh, we're going like, you know, smoked herring on these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off and give them a little try and then uh, see what we want to do from there. Again, this is a completely experimental recipe here may not work at all. But I have chicken wings put back on. Okay, we have our uh, fingerling mullet all arranged in this little aluminum pan. So, <coughs> they're still warm. We're gonna go ahead and just cover them with, this is uh, soybean oil. So just enough to cover them. And we're going to cover that over with aluminum foil. It's going to be much like uh, you get a sardine. So we're going to get a double layer of aluminum foil. Fold that in half. These are completely preserved right now. Remember, we brined them and smoked them. So we're going to go ahead and just cover them with that double layer of aluminum foil. Seal it real good around the edges. And we're going to leave it in a cool place. Not necessarily a refrigerator. A little too cool. Uh, it's winter time here in the backwoods of Florida. Probably just going to leave them right here. But there's, like I said, no worry of them spoiling now since they're smoked and brined. Just going to let them hang out and uh, age up for a little while. Hey folks, it's um two days later and they smell very much like um, smoked herring so we already tried one it's pretty good and uh, you know the uh, the fin bones and stuff are are very um, soft and tender so it's gonna get a little of them here it'll be a little hard to pick pretty dang good so I'm gonna give this a shot I think it's worth doing. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. As always, please subscribe, share, and comment. Hey, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button. We'll see you next time. I'm sorry. Do I got mullet on my face?